guys, what's up? I'm Kojak. And just a little bit ago, I ended up playing my first game of Heavy Duty under right here, the standard playlist right below Team Deathmatch. Players have extra health. It's a combination of Team Deathmatch, Blitz, and Domination. I'd set up a loadout with uh, LMG thinking that that would really be helpful, but it gets you quick kills, but obviously you're moving very slow, and when you're playing Blitz or Domination, that's not the preferred way to play I'd like to be moving quickly whether I'm defending or trying to get the objective so today what I'm going to do is show you guys what I think would be a very great class to run with that what I think would be the best class on my opinion so we go to create a soldier I've got the class set up here in loadout 5 I've got an AK partly because look how much damage that has especially when I put the muzzle break and the armor piercing rounds on there I found out I tried the honey badger out you do not want a suppressed weapon you can get a kill but you have to be shooting first otherwise you will be outplayed and it will not go your way I don't ever run a secondary I don't usually run a lethal I'm gonna run a tactical just for objective purposes because I don't know what I'm gonna get thrown into so if it's team deathmatch and somebody's camping I can get the upper hand by blinding them a little bit and uh, if it's obviously objective people are camping the uh, their, their side of blitz so I can kind of stun them just long enough to either kill them or get into the uh, portal. My perks are going to be quick draw for faster aiming so I can get that first shot off and get a little bit more damage dealt than before they know what's going on. Uh, fully loaded, start with max ammo. You're definitely going to want to run that. Uh, one of the problems, I was reloading all the time, which is fine, but I was going to run out of ammo if I continued to go on a streak. Uh, then I've got Deadeye, just the whole deal more damage. I want to make this as easy as possible to get a kill. Uh, I'm running the specialist package. I usually do for the strike package. Uh, Sleight of Hand, Marathon, Dead Silence. And then we'll go down, and I've also got ready up, agility, so I can move a little bit quicker, sit rep, just so I can see explosives, scavenger to get that ammo, because by the time I get to 11 kills, my max ammo should just about be gone, unless I pick up a different weapon along the way. I do have room for that with no secondary. And takedown, I don't like to be seen, I like to be able to move quickly, silently, and not be seen as much, and kind of get the upper hand, you know. It's always best to be quick and uh, quiet. So we're going to jump into a game of heavy duty and we're going to try this new loadout that I created which again is my opinion on what's going to be the best for all three game types to have a steady kill death ratio without having to switch up loadouts since we don't have a lot of loadouts to go through. Uh, that doesn't look like they've added five more. So we're kind of limited on loadouts and space, and it's kind of a pain to change it every time. So let's go to standard and heavy duty, and we're going to jump right into a game and test this new loadout out. Alright guys, I got thrown into a game, which is okay, because it just started. Back again on Octane, same thing, Blitz here, we're going to try out this class. I might be right, I might be wrong, but there we go, that was a quick kill. There we go, yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. That's a lot easier than the Honey Badger. And I can move a whole lot quicker than I was with that LMG. Yeah, there we go, sleight of hand now, reload a little bit quicker. What do you say, you say we go for some points here? Alright, let's go for some points. Oh, I don't have my Marathon on, which I'm so used to having with my other classes. But that's okay. Get enough kills, we can earn that. Enemy team scored. Three, two, one, in. All right. Good start. Good start. I gotta get one enemy from behind here, which I don't see happening as I'm running right at them. But you never know. Try to get that care package. Oh yeah, that dead eye definitely helps. The dead eye helps for sure. Friendly and we're going to score again. I'm going to keep running it. Keep running that train here. I don't know where the other team is at all, but they're not protecting that base, which means I will run this as long as I can. Hostile infiltrated. No. Ty, you can't have it. Alright, got that kill too. Perfect. I am really liking the loadout here that I created. We're going to lay here now let these other guys get this. Get another score in here. Thing is, 
nobody on their team is watching their portal, but at the same time, nobody on, is watching ours. So I think in one second here, it's going to be, yep, round over. That was quick. That was quick. Very quick. So next one. Oh, we got three calves so far, five and all. Haven't really seen too many people, but in my opinion, with Deadeye and the AK, I'm able to run quickly, and I've got all the right attachments to do a lot of damage. So just based off of what you guys watched, I love feedback in the comments. A like if you think that I'm right on how we should be running this for this game mode. When you set up a class right, it's not that bad of a game mode. So let's see here if we can get a kill right when we come around this corner. Oh, and we didn't. We got outplayed there, which is okay. Just bounce right back. We know where he's... Okay, he's dead. I had to have been very close to killing him. Throw that nine bang out. See if we get any... I got somebody, but... There we go. Quick kill, quick kill. Just like we're in core. Don't have my sleight of hand anymore. One more kill and we'll get that back. I had to sacrifice where I put things because that I takes up so much of the room. Enemy satcom spotted. There we go. Walked right through those guys, all of them staring at me. Now we got our sleight of hand back so we can reload quickly, which is good. If you guys feel that you could give up a different perk that other than Deadeye, then feel free to do that. I'm always open to suggestions. If you guys play this, let me know what you guys think. Enemy team scored. But I think Deadeye might be a really great one to have on here. As you can see, I'm getting the kills fairly easily. No, fine. They tried to take it from me. Keep running this through here. All the way across. Now we got our marathon back. We can get a lot of points now, even though there's not a lot of points left. Oh, we have a race to the finish there. We're just going to chill here, because they're not paying attention. Yep, there we go. It looks like it's going to be game over pretty quick. They are not playing as a team and getting that portal, so we're just going to go out to get another kill here. What do we got? We got a guy. Ah, okay, game's over. Still 9 and 2. You could see I killed them fairly easily, especially with the Deadeye AK with the muzzle break. All that extra attachments really dealt all the damage out. And yeah, I wasn't running out of ammo. I had to fully load it on just in case I had to put a lot of rounds in some guys. You know you have those games where it feels a little bit laggy, you get nothing but hit markers. So that solves that problem. You could also put extended mag on as well if you wanted in place of one of the perks or or one of the attachments instead of or have a third attachment even that would work out too but yeah go ahead uh check out my channel go feel free to like this video comments are always great feedback on how you think that loadout would work go ahead and try it and uh you can follow me on twitter and you know, just let me know how it goes with that loadout in that game uh, game mode. Also, if you find something a little bit better that you think I should tweak a little bit, you know, I'm always open to uh, suggestions. But I got a bunch of other videos you can check out. So go ahead and do that, and I'll talk to you guys later.